Okay, we're going to put this gasket or this valve body back together. Okay, this had a bonded gasket on it in the kit. You don't get bonded gaskets. Um, on a 4T65, the bonded gasket is still stuck on here. Um, then what I normally do and with this normally is just put the gasket over top. And it'll work. But in this case, it had broken a little bit, so I end up sanding everything off and reusing the gaskets that were in the kit. Now you want to make sure that the gaskets lined up. This is the plate that has those accumulator pistons in there. Um, you know those little small accumulators that was stuck. You want to make sure you put everything properly uh, properly, and you put the right gasket down. So this gasket here goes here. I'll show you what I did to this plate uh, there's another plate that has uh, a bonded gasket on it that has to be done the same way. Okay, so now you, you have these part, these uh, plugs here, right here that stops this plate from falling off. So where to go? You put these here. Push those down. Then you have this gasket that goes right here on top. I'm move this to the side a bit. Now, there also was this gasket. Also, it was bonded on there. I I um, shaved it off and, and put the gasket from the kit on there, and. Make sure you get the right gear, right gasket. If you have a hole that blocks something, you will be taking it back out. All right, now this is going to go over here. Now we have these valve bodies here. Now this has the check ball in here. So we're about to put these check balls, nine check balls in there. Now, I showed you that you should mark where the check balls go, okay? Um, I put marks on here. Let's see if I can remember where they go. It's kind of too far away. two more somewhere. Aha, here's one. Eight, nope, nope, nope. I think I got it on there already. Let me take that out. I think I have one down in there. No, I don't. It's not one in there. Okay. Alright, so that is eight. Eight. And where's the nine? Oh, where's the nine? Ah, right here on on this side. Nine. Okay. 
So what we got here is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine check balls. All right, now, you're gonna move this over to the side. You could put grease in there so they don't fall out um, if you want. It's probably best to do it in case you turn it over. So let's do that. Now, if I happen to turn it over by mistake, those balls won't fall out. Okay, do that. Now, here you have this gasket, this other spacer gasket here, metal plate. Now, some people reuse it. You could do it. Um, you can you could actually set this directly on top. Sometime I do that and just smash this gasket on top of this because this is pressed in so much it has become part of the plate. Now, I'll only do that if I don't see a tear somewhere. Okay, if I see a tear, then I will um, clear this whole gasket off. So, I don't see any tears anywhere on here. Um, so I can actually put the other gas on top, but here's the thing. If you don't and you decide that you want to sand this down, then you're going to need a rough sand pad and you're going to have to sand it down and go over it with a smooth sand pad. And you don't want to be really digging down into it because what end up happening is you will put some gouges in there and yes the gasket will compensate for some but it may not compensate for one if you just overdo it and really dig down with that sand pad and it's not a pad really using a sandpaper pad maybe like a I don't know 80 grit 70 grit pad something like this um, because it's going to take that to get this off if you just use the cotton style uh, this part this style here it might take it off sometimes it won't um, I normally use this and go over that after I take it off uh, so what should I do uh, I guess for the sake of showing you what to do I will go through the trouble of taking this off huh mm. again make sure you get the right gasket let me move this out the way because I don't want none of this material to get into the valve because it might get in there and you have something sticking in the valve body. Okay. Take this pad off, put this pad on the, the rougher one, and make sure, like I said, you don't get too carried away. You can see right there.
Now some will say, oh, you know, reuse it. I mean, it's already pressed on the plate. Just reuse it. Well, you can. I've done it before, but there also have been incidents when people have reused it and it had cross leaks because the gasket has lost its sealing uh, capacity because it has been pressed down uh, for a long time. So I don't like to take chances. There will be comebacks. In anything you do, in any job you do, somebody's gonna have to come back. If you go to the dentist, you may have to go back because he didn't do something right. He didn't put the feeling right. You had to redo it. That's terrible. So there will be comebacks, but you don't wanna set yourself up for a comeback if you can do something better. All right, so I got that pretty much good. I only got this much on there now since I hit the edge and messed it up. Now I'll put this on right here and buff it out a bit. Right, so that's how this looks here. If you do it that way, okay. Like I said, don't get too carried away and be, and gouge down on there because you create an uneven surface. Now I did it on the one side. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, and then I'll make sure these gaskets are put in the proper spot. Now I know this one here goes on this one here, okay. Because if I turn it around, if you look at this hole here, this is different. This, this hole here is a different shape than that hole. It's, it's this one here. See how that's sh how that shaped right there? And it's shaped the same way that that's shaped. So you got to get those right. If not, something is going to be wrong. Something's going to be wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side. All right, now I got both sides nice and clean. Again, don't get the gasket mixed up. I know this gasket went here because I paid attention. Also, when you do that, you wanna blow uh, with the air. You wanna do that because some of that gasket might get up in there and plug some little tiny holes. So there, he blow. Okay, where's that gasket? Okay, here, I say go there. Mm-hmm. That went like that. And this gasket goes on this side. All right.
let's put this valve body back together. You already know have this here. We got this here. Let's see what goes on what. Ay, 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 ay. Let's see what we got. If you want to put some oil on here to make this gasket stick, you can do so. Or grease, whichever one makes it stick. <sighs> Let's see, you gotta remember what how this goes. Alright, this goes on here some type of way. Let's see which side. Let's turn this around. This goes here. Actually, you could put this gasket here. Make sure no holes are plugged on here. Okay. That's that. Right. Make sure you pay attention to this. You turn this one over. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. And we're gonna put this one on, but you have to have this gasket here. So this goes like this. So the gasket you're not going to have to use right away is this one. You take this gasket here, set it down. Put some grease on here to hold this gasket on. right there. Put some grease on this one. Set this here. All right, now this is going to go on here. You gotta see which direction, I believe it's this direction. I wanna make sure. This, this has like a dowel, a dowel pin in it right here. And it has a dial pin right here. So a dial pin here and dial pin here. And it goes in this hole and the other one goes in this hole. So put those in right, it'll be fine.
There you go. I think I got it lined up now. Ah. There. Got that in. Okay. Now, make sure it don't fall out. You want to take this whole thing and flip it over. Like that. Now, you, you don't put this one on yet because there's a bolt that goes right in here. So you got to put that bolt in. Okay. So you want to put that in. Let's get something to put this in. Do not forget that. If you do, you will have shifting problems. I've done it. All right. Now you'll be able to pick it up. Nothing will fall apart. Next step is this gasket. Okay, which way you go? Let me clean this off. Let me see how this go on here. Just like that. It's time to put these in. Let me see. This look like one, two. These have marks on them. Yep, these are they go there, little shorter ones are two, two, here. So you have some short ones right here, like this. Okay, these are the shortest ones. One there, two here. Then you have the next set of short ones, which is right here. Those two go there. Okay. Now it's time to put those in to you. Never tighten it all the way down with an impact gun. Always finish up by hand. Now that there shouldn't be hitting. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, just a little bit of resistance there. I want to make sure that's all it is and ain't nothing else. All right. Uh huh. I can see this plate is off just a little. Let me loosen this up. Put this right.
here just has a little bit of resistance in there. Okay. All right, so now that is the valve body disassembled, cleaned, and put back together. That's it. Now, I did say that was it. Don't forget putting this manual valve back in, okay? If you forget that, then you're in trouble. The manual valve slides in here. And the, this part of it sticks out. If you bolt it down to the case, you will not be able to slide it in. You have to take it back up, so you might as well put it in while you have the chance. Now, that's it.